Thank you. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's a good time to remind everyone of treatment options and the importance of early detection. Dr. Shirley Butler is the new medical director of radiation oncology for the University of Kansas Cancer Center, St. Francis Campus in Topeka. Welcome. You've been in Topeka for a little while now, Dr. Butler? I have. Thank you so much for having me, Melissa. I'm really glad you it. could be here because this is an important topic with being okay. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We heard from our state's insurance commissioner, Vicki Schmidt, who is a recent breast cancer survivor yesterday on all of our newscasts. She went through radiation as part of her mm, treatment. Yeah. What is your background in radiation oncology? Oh, yes. So, um, my my undergrad was actually in chemical engineering because I love the physics and everything behind how things work. And so that prompted when I went to medical school to seek out things that are more physics oriented. And so radiation really fit the bill because I could help patients and really get to know my patients as well as use all of my physics background to really be able to create um, really useful and um, targeted plans. And so my um, residency was actually at the University of Kansas. Um, and so for me, coming back to KU and Topeka, actually, because my, my, my entire family lives in Lawrence, is coming back home, so <laughs> I truly love it. So at being at St. Francis mm -hmm. in Topeka, you are part of the University of Kansas Health yeah. System. The Cancer Institute, uh, KU's Cancer Center in Kansas City, has the designation, the national designation. Mm -hmm. So what is the partnership in Topeka with KU, and how does that help the treatment options that are available for patients locally? Oh, that's fab fabulous. So um, as far as St. Francis, um, we're actually a collaboration between Arden and the University of Kansas. And being part of the um, University of Kansas is really nice because we have access to all of the, um, the, the um, stu uh, treatment studies and clinical protocols that we have through KU. But also from a radiation oncology standpoint, it's really nice because we have all of their um, specialty and specialists. And um, so every Thursday, actually, all of the radiation oncology centers um, that's part of KU, so of our satellite sites, including St. Francis, we actually present all of our treatment plans as a group so that all the um, site-specific leaders at KU can review all the plans and make sure that all of our plans are exactly the top-notch quality that KU is known for. All so. the brains come together exactly. and get the best options for patients. What is, what is radiation and what role does it play um, in terms of options that are available to, to women nowadays who are diagnosed with breast cancer? Because yeah, yeah. back in the day, it was you got a double mastectomy, chemo, that was it, that was all. Now um, what do we do? Yeah, absolutely. And and having radiation available really opens up the possibilities because over time we've realized that um, maybe women didn't need to have double mastectomies for every single breast cancer. So for early stage breast cancers, a lumpectomy plus radiation is just as effective as a um, mastectomy for um, for early stage breast cancer patients. And so um, depending on the stage, the type radiation, we often give, um, we typically give after surgery to decrease the chance of the cancer coming back. but to it does give patients the option of choosing and different um, ways that fit with their ideals. Something very key though is in its early stages, that's when this option, the least invasive option can be equally effective. So what do women need to know about early detection? How does that even happen? How do we get de detected early? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so even for advanced stage patients, actually, we, we actually prefer to do radiation after surgery wow. as well to decrease the chance of the cancer coming back. Even after mastectomy for advanced stages, we would still do that. Okay. But for these, but we, we do know that the earlier the, um, that cancer is detected, the more curable it is. So for example, for breast cancer, um, the for patients who are um, who have low risk and very early stage one, um, their their um, chance of curing the cancer is very, very high as compared to patients where if, uh, the cancer went to a lymph node or if it went to other organs and metastasized, then that becomes non-curable. So definitely the earlier we catch it, the better. And the best way of having early detection is um, with mammograms. So for for um, typically for women over 40, then really the best way is to get those annual mammograms. And for patients who are actually at higher risk, um, we recommend that for even sooner. So the, my, my biggest recommendation is for every patient to, for every person to talk with their primary care provider and see what their personal screening recommendations are because that's gonna be tailored to them. Why is every year so important? If someone's at home going, well, I went five years ago and it was fine, so I'm fine. No. You need it every year. Absolutely, every year because those things can grow, so cancer can grow pretty fast and we often have patients, and actually especially with having COVID, a lot of patients 
did end up um, missing a year off, or yeah. two. <laughs> and so we've noticed, we've had patients that had presented on later stages because they just haven't had the yearly mammograms. So I think now that we're really out of that COVID stage, it's very important to, um, to have those so that we're catching these breast cancers early. Because even in a year or two, they can progress from stage one to stage two, three, and four. And we don't want to get to that point. October is the perfect time yes. to remember to make those appointments. Dr. Butler, thank you thank for you catching well. us up and offering that important information for all women. Appreciate you being here. Really appreciate it. We have Home Ec coming up. It's come a long way. We'll tell you about a group celebrating a century of progress next.